Hey there everyone, welcome back to Footy Leagues Around the World, it is your host Ryan, and in today's episode we are going back to the Caribbean, it's Barbados. Footy Leagues Around the World, Footy Leagues, heck yeah! Although Barbados is an island nation of just over 275,000 people, they seem to have quite a few footy leagues in their country most of which compete at at least a semi-pro level. First off at the top of the table is the Digicel Premier League with 10 teams. Below that is the Division I with 13 teams, then Division II with 29 teams, and lastly Division III with 13 teams. Barbados has a youth league for kids under 15, a women's league, and a beach soccer tournament as well. The team that finishes at the top of the Premier League qualifies for the Caribbean Club Championship, also known as the CFU Club Championship. The bottom two teams are relegated to Division 1. In Division 1, the top two teams are promoted, while the bottom three teams are relegated. And in Division 2 II and 3, the top three teams are promoted, while the bottom three teams are relegated. Of course, if you're the bottom of Division 3, you just stay there. The season lasts from February to May, with each team in the Premier League playing 18 games. Teams are spread out across the country, but a majority of the teams play in the country's capital of Bridgetown. It should also be noted that the Premier League typically plays Saturday-Sunday fixtures at one stadium per week, with three games per day starting at 5 p.m. The two stadiums being used in the 2018 competition include Empire Ground and Wildy Turf, both in Bridgetown. Barbados has two cup competitions, the Stag Beer Champions Cup, your standard knockout competition, and the Williams Equipment Preseason Cup, which is free to attend. The Barbados Premier League started in 1947 and has pretty much seen no gaps since then. The team with the most championships in the country is Weymouth Wales with 17, including the 2017 title. According to the Barbados Football Association, teams can have a max of six foreign players, all of which can be on the field at the same time. The league doesn't seem to have a ton of foreign talent, but there are a few, and they come from many of the surrounding countries. These include places like Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, Dominica, and Curaçao. Not many players who are born in Barbados make the leap to larger European leagues. There is one, the top scorer for the Barbadian national team, Llewellyn Riley, who started his career in Barbados, then moved on to Ireland for a very brief stint with both Sligo Rovers and Galway United before returning to the Barbadian Premier League. Other players who star for the Barbadian national team are oftentimes born in England and never actually play club football in Barbados. For those who can't go to games, games are broadcasted locally through Trident 10 TV. Trident Barbados also offers live streams of each game on its YouTube channel. Other YouTube channels to find videos of the Premier League include channels like Barbados FA and Final Third Barbados. Well, that's it for Barbados. Thank you for watching. Coming up next is Belarus.